right before we jump to segment three on matrix properties and start learning more new linear algebra theory. In this video, I show you how to visualize the linear systems that we solved with substitution and elimination in the preceding videos. These hands-on code demos in Python provide a crisp, geometric visualization of the lines in each system, as well as the points that we solve for when we solve for the unknowns in a system of linear equations. Returning to our first notebook from github.com slash johncrone slash mlfoundations, the intro to linear algebra notebook, let's look at some code to plot out the equations in the systems of linear equations that we solved with paper and pencil, as well as the points that we solved for when we worked through these exercises. So let's start off with uh, this system of equations here. So taking what I've written here by hand and converting it into uh, LaTeX code here, you can see the same equations are right here. And so in order to plot y as a function of x for both of these equations, we need to isolate y. The first equation, y is already isolated. For the second equation, we can rearrange it uh, pretty easily. So we move uh, negative 5x over to the other side of the equation, giving us 2y is equal to 2 plus 5x. And then we can divide by 2 on both sides of the equation. That isolates y on the left, and it puts um, this expression here over 2, which can be simplified a little bit to this here, 1 plus 5x over 2. All right, so now having our two equations, let's actually create them as plots in matplotlib. So similar to what we did with the bank robber and sheriff plot that we created early on in this machine learning foundation series, we have to simulate x values over some particular range. We've already solved um, these equations. Uh, so you kind of know the rough range that you'll need x and y to be in in order to create a nice plot. So that's definitely helpful. For example, we know that the x point that we're solving for is going to be x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 6. Right? So we know that from having solved the system of linear equations already by hand. If you hadn't already solved it by hand, then you'd have to do some, some guessing back and forth as to what your parameters should be. Since we know them, I know that you know, this range, negative 10 up to 10 for my x values is definitely going to be more than enough. And so we um, create 1,000 x values spaced evenly over that range from a negative 10 to 10. That exact number doesn't really matter all that much. Then we uh, use our two equations. So our first equation is y equals 3x. So uh, I'm going to call it y1 is equal to 3 times x. And then for our second equation, our second y is here. So we have y is equal to 1 plus 5x over 2. y is equal to 1 plus 5 times x over 2. All right, so now that we have our two uh, lines, so our two sets of y values as a function of x, we can plot them out as lines in matplotlib. This is very similar code to what we used earlier to create the bank robber and sheriff plots. And I used all of the same colors. And in an in a odd coincidence, the actual, the plot itself looks quite similar to the bank robber and sheriff example. The next example I have coming up looks uh, a bit different in terms of the configuration of the lines and such. So we create our plot, and then I add some simple labels, x and y, to the x and y axes respectively set uh, reasonable uh, limits for the range of x and the range of y axes. In this case, I wanted to show 0, 0 in the plot, um, but I also wanted to show, obviously, the point where our two lines intersect, because that's the whole point of this plot. So I just picked some values, um, so up to 3 on the x-axis and up to 8 on the y-axis to capture all, all of that. Um, just like the bank robber and sheriff example, I'm plotting one line in green and one in brown. Arbitrarily, you know, it doesn't, there's nothing, uh, there's no reason why I would pick green for one and brown for the other. 
Um, but yeah, so y1 is a function of x. So green is our first equation, y is equal to 3x. And then our second equation uh, with y2, this equation here, is in brown. And so we can see the brown line has a slightly uh, lower slope than the green line. And so even though the brown line has a higher y-intercept of positive 1, eventually the green line catches up to it here. And we know that that point where the two lines intersect is at x equals 2 and y equals 6. We know that from having solved it already. And using the same uh, hatched purple lines to uh, indicate where that point is where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 6. So hopefully that's helpful for understanding uh, visually what we're doing when we're solving for unknowns in a system of linear equations. Uh, we have just two dimensions here, x and y, so we can visualize this in a two-dimensional plane. If we had x, y, n, z, then we could use a 3D plot um, to show a point in 3D space that we're solving for. Beyond that, it would be hard to create a visualization in four dimensions and so on. But you can nevertheless, even though it's hard to visualize four dimensions or more, solving uh, for unknowns in a linear system is the same kind of idea of identifying the point where the lines cross over, whether it's a two-dimensional space or a higher dimensional space. All right, so as one further example, let's also go through the elimination example that we worked through together. So in that example, this is what it looked like um, when I first provided it. Um, so we can take these two uh, equations in the system of linear equations and represent them in the Jupyter notebook here. And in this case, in order to isolate y and make y a function of x in our Python code, we're going to need to rearrange both of the equations. So let's start with the first one here. We can move 2x over to the other side, which gives us negative 3y is equal to 15 minus 2x. And then in order to isolate y completely, we can divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. On the left-hand side, that leaves us with y, which is what we wanted. And on the right-hand side, we have 15 minus 2x divided by negative 3. We can simplify that a little bit. Dividing 15 by negative 3 is negative 5. And then our other term on the right is plus 2x divided by 3. All right, so that's the first equation now isolated for y. For the second equation, to isolate y in the second equation, um, let's redraw the equation here. So the first thing that I noticed is that we can divide by 2 uh, to simplify a bit. So 4x divided by 2 is 2x. 10y uh, divided by 2 is 5y. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And then we can rearrange to isolate for y. So bring 2x over to the other side of the equation. So now we have 5y is equal to 7 minus 2x. And then finally, divide both sides of the equation by 5 to isolate y completely. Um, so 5y divided by 5 is y. And then 7 minus 2x divided by 5. We can't cleanly create a simpler looking expression like we had here, but this is fine just like this. So the first equation now in Python code is y is equal to negative 5 plus 2x over 3. So here it is in Python code. And then our second equation is y is equal to 7 minus 2 over 5, 7 minus 2x over 5. Um, and yeah, then we just plot it out. So in this case, I added uh, one extra thing in order to make it look nice uh, relative to the previous two plots that we had. So we had the substitution example as well as the bank robber and sheriff example. In both of those, the um, edges of the plot served as the x and y axes. But in this case, I'm going to um, have the axes uh, somewhere else. I thought that it looked um, cleaner this way, that I could create a better visualization this way, particularly as our um, point is in the negative on the y axis. So I added these x and y axes here in light gray. So we have this vertical line at x equals zero, this horizontal line at y equals zero, both of them in light gray. And other than that, it's 
basically the same as the preceding plot. All that I did was I set different X and Y range values that created a nice looking plot here. Um, these two lines of code are the same as in the preceding plot. And I added the point where the two uh, lines intersect, which we had already solved for here. So we determined that the point where they intersect is where X is equal to six and Y is equal to negative one. So I plugged those values in six and negative one. And voila, that is indeed the point where these two lines cross over. And so that is the solution to this linear system of two equations. I hope that that gives you a nice visualization of that theory that we've covered so far. And now you're all ready to get into segment three on matrix properties coming up right now.